The thing about business is if you find a solution to something, then your business is gonna succeed. My advice would be just to start small, do what you can, and then work your way up. Don't go in over your head purchasing super expensive equipment. And then also utilize the power of social media as well. I think people wanna see that you are a person and that the people that you have in your office are, are people and they're down to earth. And yeah, that's, that's kind of what we strive to yeah. do. I have this incredible team that mm -hmm. have believed in me and that has been really, really awesome. To be able to be a female CEO and kind of go against some of the patriarchal things that I've been told growing up, like the, the company is not the most important thing. Family is the most important yeah. thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Unicorn. I'm Jimmy Owens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you work for a company and you like them a lot, or if you own your own business, be sure to leave a comment and let us know the name of the company, what you do. We're going to start um, giving some shout outs to some of you guys in these episodes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Today, I love doing that. All right, today is uh, our guest is Kara De La Pena De La with Pena. Mm -hmm. De La Pena. Um, with NP to go, mm -hmm. which stands for nurse practitioner to go. There you go. That's it. Show's over. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have some questions for you. Okay. Nurse practitioner to go. To go. To go. To, <laughs> or to, to go. go. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Joe. Um, do you like to travel? Yeah, we like to travel. Okay, but like for fun or for work? So. Is that in <laughs> relation to our, my company or just I was just trying to just trying to get you to say that you don't like to travel and you're traveling nurses. No. So, okay. I do like to travel, but I am scared of flying. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why do you like to drive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Totally okay with driving. Are you good at packing? I am not good at packing. I always leave something out. But you're good at planning. I am good at planning. Yeah, yeah. I would think so with the type of business that you do. So just trying <laughs> figuring out things as I go. Uh, do you find that friends or family members hit you up for medical advice more often than most people? So I guess I've been a nurse practitioner for about five years now. Mm -hmm. And I would say that the people that do ask for advice always ask for advice. And there's people that don't. So they're like not feeling good. And they're like, Hey, I'm going to go see, see, Kara and yeah. then like try to get their free diagnosis right <laughs> right or like at family dinner or okay Thanksgiving Christmas you ever have whichever. to shut them down and be like okay guys no I'm step not, out of line I'm not good it's at time that. to eat do they ever form a line <laughs> we have we have, have before really, yeah <laughs> that's funny do I have COVID <laughs> yeah we I yeah looking back we we probably definitely have formed a line so your business started in 2019? 2019. Okay. And we've, we talked previously we before, mm -hmm. before then, and now you're on the show. We appreciate you coming. Why are you a unicorn? I know why you are, but why? I need you to tell everyone else. So what does being a unicorn mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, what's your unique like? What's your mm -hmm. uniqueness like? What's the thing that kind of sets you apart from most people, or the thing that drives you that sets you apart? Like, that's a good question. So I think what sets me apart, or what drives me, is um, just from a very young age. If you told me that I couldn't do something, I'd tell you that I could most definitely do it, no matter what you said. So that's why I was in football. Wrestling. Wrestling. wrestling I remember hearing <laughs> that story. Yeah. You know, if if you said that, there's there's no way that you could do that, then I'm like, yes, there is, and and I'll show you why. So I don't know. There's just some sort of drive that drive to accomplish more. Yeah. Break generational curses, you know, be better yeah. than we were the last generation. Yeah, I totally believe that anything is possible manifestation i mean you know what i mean mm -hmm. so totally um man in outer space man underwater i don't know some i mean i tell my kids someday their kids might live in space somewhere too yeah yeah i totally. have to send them a bottle to outer space and <laughs> see if they get the yeah. message it'll, it'll so, there'll be some way to communicate 
What's the difference between traveling nurse and not traveling nurses? Okay, so in relation to our business, yeah. house calls. So basically one of the things that we do is we come to your house and help you feel better. We do things that a normal urgent care would do, but we come to your house. So it's kind of like how house calls were, you know, previous to hospitals being built and yeah. stuff like that. The doctor would come to your house. Okay. So that's just what we brought back. Um, yeah. Uh, when I did some clinicals, someone for said, my, Hey, this isn't going to work. And you said, Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, how <laughs> really how it happened is, um, I worked in, did some clinicals in the ER and several different places, but at the ER too, I'm like, if these people have some simple diagnoses that we can treat them with fluids at home or, or do simple tests at home, why wouldn't we do something like that? So um, that's what we, we decided to do. Um, I, did, I also did some clinicals with a direct primary care physician. Mm -hmm. So they don't accept insurance. They kind of have an out-of-the-box way of, of doing things um, without without accepting insurance. So that kind of just drove me to think about, well, why why do we have to accept insurance for everything? Why can't we offer a cash pay price? Mm -hmm. So that's where it was, that was where it's, it was yeah. born. Yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. And my question like towards the end here is, hey, how'd you get to where you're at today? But mm -hmm. I think we're starting to answer that already. Okay. So, um, Interesting because it's like, hey, this is how medicine used to be practiced, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, we're just going to bring it back. Also, before the middleman of insurance, insurance is a, just, I know people feel really safe with insurance, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, you pay a lot of money for a deductible and then you still get a bunch of bills. With our company, it's very transparent. You know how much you're going to pay. It's usually cheaper than most people's deductibles. Yeah. It's always interesting if you say, hey, cash pay versus insurance. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, we'll knock that down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I love it. There's so much more freedom in it. I think yeah. that people just need to be, they just need to be more comfortable with yeah. it. Well, and now I'm going to get on my insurance rant because it's like, why would I pay mm -hmm. for something if I don't need it? Mm-hmm. Right. So exactly. then you're, you're living out of fear, mm -hmm. which is fine. That's, that's exactly how it's That's based. fine. But like, we probably wouldn't be in business if I had insurance, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. cause it gets really expensive really fast. Oh, and yeah. so why not, why wouldn't I just pay for whenever I had a problem for the, the care that I needed? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and then the other side of that is the insurance person selling you insurance mm -hmm. is going to say, mm -hmm but you're helping all these other people that need it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you are helping everyone else that needs it, but anyways. Yeah. Um, Chew on that. If you do go to the <laughs> hospital and you need to use your insurance, uh, if you if you do go to the hospital and you are cash pay, you have more um, abilities to negotiate with the hospital too as well if you do not have insurance. Yeah rather than having insurance and they already have a, they already have a contract with your insurance. There's no negotiation. Mm, interesting. And they mark, they mark things up according to your insurance, what they pay for too. We're gonna have to do a whole different show. Yeah. Oh to... yeah. We totally could. <laughs> we totally could. All right. So what about uh, a business hack? Got a business hack for our audience? So don't pay for insurance. <laughs> don't pay for, <laughs> you can save money by not save paying money. for insurance. I wrote this down on my phone. Can I look at my phone? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. We allow mobile devices okay. here. <laughs> I didn't know that. So yeah. I your wrote, life hack. I wrote down. Always be prepared. Bring your phone. <laughs> Have it written out. Yeah. Um, which so is exactly business hacks, what I life do. hacks. You know what? We're going to break for our episode sponsor. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. She doesn't have any business or life hacks. <laughs> I just had to find them. Yeah, she had to find them. Yeah. Okay, so what is your business hack? 
Okay. So need your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to look yeah, at go it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at so it. So my business hack is um, there's several. Okay. One of them okay. is like fake it until you make it. That um, also to if you can't have if you can't afford to have certain things done, then do it yourself. For example, when I started out, I did my own website. I, I rented small rooms, you know, did everything that I could afford to do and mm -hmm. anything I couldn't afford to do. I just did myself. So if I wanted to know if something was legal or know about business permits or anything like that, I hit the pavement. I called people. I I looked online. I did my research. Um, so that was okay. That was my business hack. I also read Damon John's The Power of Broke. Okay. And so, do you know who Damon John's from Shark Tank is? No, but I know what broke is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Damon John's, he's he's the creator of yeah. Fubu. I know who you're talking about. Okay. I know who so he he's is. on he's on Shark Tank. So he wrote this book. It's called The Power of Broke, and basically, it goes over how he started his. Fubu clothing brand in yeah. in his mom's basement. I think it's been a long time since I read it, but yeah. um, in in his mom's basement, and then he would sew it, and then he'd go give it to these rappers to do while they were to, to wear to while wear. they're filming their videos, and then he'd ask for it back because he needed it. I mean, he was that broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it was like the original, almost like influencing affiliate marketing. You okay. know, he'd have these guys yeah. wear his clothing. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. And a lot. And in his book, he talks about how he did so much of the stuff himself. Yeah. I imagine it was, it was things like your own website and mm -hmm. just, just doing everything you could until you could afford to have somebody yeah. help you do that. But the flip side of that is, I mean, you've been in business a good amount of time. Four years now. And then like you also get the side of it is like, Okay, we're in business. I need to stop doing these things. The word scale comes up, mm -hmm. and you're like, "Huh, right?" You like, stop doing those yeah. things because your time is better spent doing reinvesting else. in your company. Yeah, because like the time that I'm spending, you know, I have someone that helps me with my house now. Mm -hmm. Because the time that I could be spending cleaning my house, I'm I'm putting into my business. Right. So. The, that's one of the. That's not how you started. <laughs> that is not how I started no, for she sure. She was taking care of the house. All of it. And legal. All of it. Yeah. I'd take appointments till and appointments. nine, eleven o'clock at night. Yep. On the holidays, whenever. Yeah. All of the appointments I could. Life hack. Life hack. So I think one of the main things is um, my biggest thing is getting enough sleep is so important. Okay. Yeah, I agree sleep with that. Sleep is so important. It can, you know, whenever I don't have enough sleep, it feels like getting up and kind of running that like short running on short sleep feels OK for about, you know, a certain amount of days. And then you're like, this isn't working. Mm -hmm. Right. It takes mm -hmm. you a few days to kind of yeah. to feel it. You should just prioritize sleep every single day. That's why I try to get 12 hours a day. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. 12 hours is just really joking. nice. I'm just joking. That's 12 really hours nice. a day, three hour cat nap. <laughs> Seven to eight is, <laughs> is good. But just, you know. Um, I had my baby like 20 months ago and before, before we, you know, before I had her, I just did everything I could to, to prepare myself mentally because that is also a challenging time mm -hmm. after you have a child. But yeah, you didn't know that after, until you no, had the first one, I, right? Yes, right? <laughs> the first one taught you, I got to oh get ready for God. this. Yeah. I might not get sleep for like a couple of years. Yeah. And yeah. You're like my hormones are yeah. not going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. So to, to prepare yourself as, I mean, to put yourself in a good mental well being before you bring the baby home or prioritizing sleep is super important. I agree with that. That is my life hack. Have um, you ever heard of, have you ever um, heard of a placenta smoothie? I think have you that ever people heard that? encapsulate uh, their placenta and they yeah. do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. I didn't do that, but I'm not, I'm not opposed to any of that stuff. Cannibal. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Go ahead, Will. So you're, so, you're looking at your um, phone. You got something else yeah, there. Yeah, so my second part of the life hack is that visual imagery is super important. So when we talk about manifestation, I truly believe in manifestation. I have checks that I look at. I have things that I look at that I'm trying to manifest. When you say checks, what do you mean? I so don't understand. You, it, uh, okay, so Jim Carrey did this. Check boxes or like, like a check. checks with fake numbers on them? 
fake numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, totally there fake you numbers. Go. Jim Carrey did this thing where he he like hung a check on his mirror and like looked he was at funny. it over and over Just and joking. over. He is and he ended up making the ten million dollars from that movie Dumb and Dumber. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So you just you write a check, what you and you completely put everything in it. What is this check of, you know, like um for a movie you did or how much is it? Like you had you can be very specific of your check and you you write it and you look in the mirror every day. Write the check. So you have a write piece a of paper, a fake check. Actual check. check. No, an actual, an actual check. check. Yeah. Okay. Somebody could steal it, I guess, and try to cash it, but well, now that I know, <laughs> did you sign it? Yeah. Yes. You have to, to sign yourself? it. Yes. You to have yourself? to sign it to yourself. Yeah. Do you want to share with our viewers how much the check is for? Let me tell After these messages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll get back to that. That's going to be episode two. Okay. You don't have to. I'm going to ask okay. you. I'm going to find out after the show. <laughs> Too bad, guys. In the comments, write what, what you, you want. You want yeah. to have on your check. Yeah. What do you want on your check? For All sure. All right. Um, let's see what and else. And then go want. write the check to yourself. Don't accidentally cash. <laughs> 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 right. Right. Yeah. Did he cash it? Who? Jim Carrey. Mr. Carrey. I don't know. I don't know if he cashed it. If he had I it, he could have. <laughs> but I know that people would be like, why do you have a check in your mirror? I'm like, oh, it's just Yeah, my, don't worry about it. It's a yeah, check to myself. It's my visual imagery, yeah. my manifestation. Predated so. for 2000. Yeah. <laughs> 100. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just like you you date it for like five years from now. You you have to be very specific okay. in what. That's interesting. Are you going to do a check? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I don't should. know. My wife might grab it. And like, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> might be a bad idea. Well, you I'm have gonna, to have the money in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so exactly. She, she, she might not be able to she cash She knows that's it not anyway. going to be cashed. Yeah. Um, advice for someone wanting to start a healthcare business. So I think that there's a lot of things that somebody could do if they wanted to start a healthcare business. And the, the thing about business is if you find a solution to something, then your business is going to succeed. Finding a solution to something. And my advice would be just to start small, do what you can, and then work your way up. Okay. Um, don't go in over your head purchasing super expensive equipment. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then also utilize the power of social media as well. I think people want to see that you are a person and that um, the people that you have in your office are, are people and they're down to earth. And yeah, that's that's kind of what we strive yeah. to do. Well, that's what I get from your group, mm -hmm. you know, your group. I think so Because I've been in there and, yeah. you know, everyone's approachable. Mm -hmm. And then like what what's really nice is once you get in there, you meet everyone. You're like, wow, everyone's so nice. And then all of a sudden you find out that they're very smart about what they do. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like they, yeah. they're, they love what they do. You can tell it. And then yeah. they're very smart about what they specialize yeah. in. Yeah. So I, I think sometimes, you know, you might be like, oh, these people are really approachable and they don't know anything, but that's not the case. Does that make you with me? Yeah. All I have to say about that is that I have this incredible team that mm -hmm. have believed in me and that has been really, really awesome. Yeah. And to be able to be a, I, I've always loved being a nurse practitioner, but to all, to be able to be a female CEO and kind of go against some of the patriarchal things that I've been told growing up, like this is a corporation, this is a corporation, this is a corporation mm -hmm. to be able to change that. Like maybe 40 hours isn't a work week for us. We do like 36. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I want you off that. for your kids' birthdays. Yeah. We give PTO for kids' birthdays. We do Christmas parties for the kids. So like just really focusing on family and that I know that when people work for us that that the, the company is not the most important thing. Family is the most important yeah. thing. So if we can do whatever we can to support your relationship with your family and then yeah. be there... Mm -hmm. um, create that environment. I really think that that's so. If you want to work at a place that treats you horribly, <laughs> don't work with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, yeah. yeah, that's what something that that's one of really... my goals for our company is. I want everything to be so easy for our clients, mm -hmm. enjoyable, mm -hmm. and then also with like you know our staff. I want everyone to be like, 
it's so yeah we've made it so easy to yeah. film we've made it so easy to do this you know yeah. the systems and processes and like having a cult good culture yeah having i mean like i want really joe good. to go film in his car and then joe doesn't know this i want joe to go film in his car and then he'd be like god i really like filming in the production van because yeah. of all of <laughs> right? these things you know i want it to be so nice. much easier yeah. to be at work yeah than it is doing your own gig you know yeah. so yeah, um for sure anyways there you go, Joe. All right. Um, so we already kind of, I kind of answered, or you asked us a little bit, but how'd you get to where you are today? So a couple of things. I think it's the visualization. Visualization. When did you start that? Um, Last night. No, I mean, I think it was relatively early. It could have been when I was younger. I don't know. Maybe I, I always kind of yeah. believed. In, in something. <laughs> I got to show you a video when I, when we get out of here, uh -huh. it's hilarious. I'll watch it. Yeah. Well, it's of my kids. It's funny. Um, but when, <laughs> when I was younger too, I don't know. I've always, I think I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. When I was younger, I got in trouble in school for selling things on my desk, like trinkets like and stuff. A pluses. I had like a garage sale on my desk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got in trouble for it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a pretty common it could be a common, like, I think story from someone that it you could know, be is an entrepreneur. So. It could be. Yeah. And, and now here I am. Yeah. You're motivated. Yeah. But, but how'd you get into like traveling nurse? Right. So you went to school. Mm -hmm. How'd you mm -hmm. know you wanted to be a nurse? How did you, I know you said like, I wanted to kind of bring back the, yeah. that's how, you but know, how, e how I even started with nursing. So that's a good question. Yeah. So my great grandma, I had my great grandma until I was 17 years old. Uh huh. Um, she had suffered a stroke and she had get gone from completely independent to, you know, couldn't move half of her body. So she was like dependent on us to do everything, mm -hmm. which was really hard on her. But, um, I helped her a lot. And I think during that time of helping her, I just really liked caring for people. I've always liked caring for people. I became a server after that. I've customer yeah. service. Um, and then CNA, LPN, nurse practitioner, L LPN, RN, and then nurse practitioner. Okay. I've always been, I've always been a healer. That's definitely like my spiritual, okay. um, what's that called? Spiritual gift. Spiritual gift. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Always been a healer. Always like caring for people. Okay. Um, where do you, where do you see your company going? There's so many, so many things. Um, right now we're national, so I think that the next thing would be international some way. I don't know how that would be possible, okay. but definitely international uh, or expand our national base. Um, well, I think something that is interesting to me is you started out as, I'm going to say traveling nurse, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're also like, I think the, the part that interests me is like how you're starting to pick up and uh, offer different services, mm -hmm. right? So you're offering different services. You're starting to be kind of like more dynamic and then, mm -hmm. you know, finding out like what the, where the market is for mm -hmm. what you do and then like what you can do and yeah. what you can't. And so, yeah. so s how you can still not be underneath like, like that main yeah. corporate ran brand, but for sure, does that make sense? Like, how are you, how are you decide maybe for some of our business owners or someone that's trying to figure out what business they want to start? How are you figuring out what services you want to offer? Yeah, I think that we've talked about this before together. You just, you just follow the market or what people are wanting, but also when you create solutions in your business, you can offer those solutions to other businesses mm -hmm. that could be a whole separate business in itself. So yeah. the products and softwares that we're developing that help us in our business, we will also offer that to, to other people. Yeah. Um, the way that I've said it is we're going to build some things that we get results with, mm -hmm. and then we're going to use those, sell those to our clients mm -hmm. because we have proof in the pudding, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we have some really cool stuff coming out. Start your year. podcast today. <laughs> well, yeah, we have talked about that as well. Oh, uh, okay. Um, any actions you want our viewers to take? So always liking us on social media, it helps support us, um, interacting with us. We've got a lot of information on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, 
Um, one thing I was going to say earlier that I didn't get to mm -hmm. say is that um, one of the, the things that we have focused on, especially going national, is weight loss. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. um, through, our, through our social media, um, patients or potential patients are able to see, you know, uh, me, Lauren, Amber, mm -hmm. Carissa, they're able to see us. Um, there's so many patients that have been told their whole life that, you know, just diet and exercise. They felt like they haven't been heard. And now we actually have some, you know, proven medications that are mm -hmm. helping. Yeah. So um, I do think that that's one of the one of the reasons why. Yeah some patients um, find us on TikTok is so they find assume, us relatable. I would assume you're like building relationships with these other the, around the 50 states, mm -hmm. you know, with complete strangers. Yes. And now you're like developing relationships. And how's that feel? Yeah, it feels really good. I mean, because I know that there's some people who have found us on social media that would yeah. never have reached out because they have been like burned by the diet mm -hmm. industry. Yeah, There's also so much... Um, I don't know if we call it fat phobia or fat stigma, but I, I mean, I see it on posts that I have on the internet. People yeah. are like the way that people talk about weight loss medicines. It's like, oh, horrible, horrible things. Okay. Um, which is so f mind blowing because if you did, if if you were advertising a, a blood pressure medicine, people would not feel so strongly about that. Or they wouldn't say things like, well, it's just going to, you're just going to gain the weight when you when you stop taking mm. it. Well, that's like any other medicine, right? Yeah. If you stop taking a blood pressure medicine, you're you're going to get high blood pressure. You're going to get high blood pressure. Yeah. If you uh, stop or taking just insulin, diet yeah. and exercise. You guys just aren't giving it a good shot. There's actually a lot of people who who are and that have some genetic issues that yeah. that have caused them. Well, and then I'll go just from speaking for some things that I know about, you know, things, things mm -hmm. about things. <laughs> hey, mm. <And> Dr. <laughs> Seuss episode. Things about things is that um, maybe some of those people don't have, even have enough willpower mm -hmm. to even take mm -hmm. that first step. So let me, what you guys are offering um, mm -hmm. allows them to yeah. get that motivation. You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. um, everybody needs a nudge and like a little bit of help. And so sometimes yeah. that I think what you're doing gives them that help to, to actually have that willpower. Yeah. Cause if you take away the craving, Right. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, go yeah. check out their, their yeah. website, MP to go and we'd check love to out, help you. Yeah. The stuff on their, their weight loss, but you take away that craving, then you, that was most of your, your willpower. You can't yeah. take away a craving, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 But, um, so one of the things I see us doing is building more of a community around that as well. And we're having okay. more of like a community brand okay. and, um, more, um, resources online. Like we have like a little protein calculator. We, a, a couple other, okay. but building a community around Some of our stuff brand you're as working well. on that I haven't heard about. Yeah. Then, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Totally. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to add? I can't think of anything in particular. Um, do you want to look at your phone? I could look at my I'm phone. I'm just joking. I'm just picking. Um, I think the, that we have a really great team. We, when you support a small business, small businesses are the backbone of America. Yeah. So when you support a small business, um, especially a woman owned small business, you know, there's so many things that you're supporting by doing that. Um, I should have something more grand to say after that. I usually do. Um, how about this? <laughs> if you want to stay in business, do your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I yeah, will do There's that. your life, your business yeah. hack and life hack. <laughs> life hack yeah. taxes. Yeah. Um, anything else? I don't want to cut think you of short. Anything. All right, cool. Guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, be sure to tag the business that you work for. If you're a business owner, tag your business in the comments and we'll uh, give you guys a shout out. And thank you so much. Thank you for having yeah. me.